My name is Jerry Johnston, a.k.a. Monza from Street Outlaws, and I'm into drag racing. This is my 2015 Hellcat. We did a daily driver race on Street Outlaws, and a friend of mine let me borrow it for that race, and I kind of fell in love with it, so I bought it. The car's got a 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi. We've did a few upgrades on it. It's got a cold air intake. Upper pulley's been changed on the supercharger, so it makes a little more boost. The car's been tuned for 93 octane. They come factory making 707 horsepower, and this one makes about 805. My goal is 1,000 rear wheel horsepower with this and be able to drive it anywhere. I started basically street racing in the 80s as soon as I was able to get my driver's license. I'd race anybody that pulled up beside me at a red light. I mean, anything I've ever drove, dirt bikes, cars, trucks, it didn't matter. I only knew one speed wide open. One of my cousins had a little hot rod Monza body there, a big tire car that had been built and never been ran. So I ended up trading him out of that. I thought this is the perfect opportunity for me to do something and get my boy involved in it with me. So we built that big tire Monza. That's when we got associated with Midwest Streetcars. We ran across a forum on a computer called Midwest Streetcars, and they had a top 10 list of the fastest street race cars in Oklahoma City. We went out one night with them, started racing with them, and we worked our way all the way to number one on their list with this Monza we built. Then everybody on there is so competitive, cars just get faster and faster and faster, and that's when we started building this. And this is my 1972 Rally Sport Camaro that we race on the TV show Street Outlaws. We call it the Sinister Split Bumper. Sometimes I call it worse than that if it makes me mad. It's got a Proline 481X in it, pair of Precision 98 millimeter turbos on it, fuel tech, fuel injection, engine management, RC component wheels on it. It's got a Mr. Wendell's three-speed turbo 400 in it with a Pro Torque converter. Mark Williams full floater rear end under it. We switched it up to turbo, which I didn't think I would ever do, but I promise you at this point we have no regrets. This car is way faster than it ever was with nitrous, and actually it's a lot of fun to drive. We have a number one car here. It's relatively new, but it's getting faster every time we take it out, and I will get this car to number one, there's no doubt about it. No doubt in my mind, it will happen. Back when, say 2005, when we built the Monza, it was all knobs, timers, stuff in the car. Now, this car, you don't do nothing to it without breaking a laptop out. That's where my boy comes in. I'm kind of a computer dummy. What I don't know how to do, he picks it up really fast, so we make a really good team. I'm probably with my son more than anybody. We come down here every night working on this car. I couldn't do what I do without him. I wouldn't want to do what I do without him. Pretty much every time I pull up there to make a pass, I'm trusting him with my life. He makes sure I'm lined up like I'm supposed to. He makes sure everything on the outside of the car that has to be done is done, and I don't second guess none of it. Um, I guarantee you I'm the youngest 52-year-old you'll ever meet in your life. I mean, I'm, I think I'm as good now as I was 20 years ago. I can still cut a light at a racetrack. I can still drive the wheels off of anything. I'm going to do it until I feel I'm not competitive anymore. I may be 60 years old out here doing this. I don't know. When I get to the point where I'm not competitive or I don't feel like I have a number one car on that list, then it'll be time for me to bow out. But I'm not ready to give it up yet.